Good everybody, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're going to be doing a comparison between freeze dried bloodworms, gel based food bloodworms, and frozen bloodworms. So basically, we're going to try and work out which one is better value for money, which one is the easiest to use, and which one the fish tend to enjoy the most. Let's check it out. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. Alright, so first off the bat, let's go with some of the pros and cons of ye old frozen bloodworm. Uh, for me, a pro of this is it's very easy. Pretty much every single pet shop, pretty much every single fish shop sell this stuff. It's generally in the freezer. You walk in, you grab a couple of trays, you walk out, you chuck in your freezer and you're done. It's nice and simple. I don't want to say it'll last indefinitely, but it will definitely last a good period of time while it's in the freezer. I've had this pack I know for well over a year and it still hasn't pierced for obvious reasons but it looks absolutely fine so it lasts pretty well there's no expiry date on it as long as it stays frozen you're good to go it is simple to feed out you pop your cube you throw it in and you're done or you can uh, defrost it in a cup of water first put the tip of the cup of water in something like that as well or you can use one of those um, blood worm uh, cone things which we've done a review on and we'll chuck a little hoosicky up here somewhere for you guys to check that out if you want uh, Generally speaking six to nine dollars six to ten dollars for a, a tray of bloodworms at least it is here in New Zealand um, Sometimes you can pick them up on Special three for twenty bucks or something like that, which is you know pretty good value. They're normally about 100 grams So 200 grams of food for sorry 300 grams of food for 20 bucks is pretty good some of the cons if you leave it out of the freezer, it gets defrosted and gets mushy. It kind of turns rancid and goes off. If you have an issue with your freezer, which I have before, all your frozen food goes mushy and goes to poo as well. Not a good thing. Uh, it's also argued that a lot of the liquid in the blood worms themselves are sort of water, which is water weight filling it up, and that it is also um, potentially full of parasites and stuff that you don't actually want feeding your fish. I don't know if there's any evidence on that, if it's just uh, you know aquarium myths or what have you, but that is some definitely some of the cons potentially for feeding out frozen bloodworms. Next one we're looking at is the gel food. Uh, personally, I quite like the gel food. I think they're very convenient. Uh, like I said you can get them in a once I open up this little box. They come in like a little slug type thing, and you squeeze it out into your aquarium. So I think that's quite handy. Obviously, they've got a um, an expiry date on them as well, unlike the frozen stuff, like I said, so you've kind of got to use them within that time. And this particular brand brings them out in 48 gram mm -hmm. containers. I think they are a little bit pricey for what you're getting, uh, about 15 bucks or something like that for 48 grams, which is right up there. Um, you know, it's nearly double the price of um, your frozen stuff and that kind of thing. I think they're very convenient. Like if you go away on a holiday or go away a couple of days, you've got something to feed your fish. Can you please just use one of these containers or one of these little satchels? And it's that simple, it's nice and easy. They're not messy. You literally rip it open, you squeeze it out, you throw it in the bin. It's simple, there's no mess, there's no fuss. I think they're definitely positives of the gel foods here. Um, something I don't so much like about them, if I can find the ingredients list, is there is other stuff inside of it. So we've got uh, bloodworms here. And it says the composition is insects of red mosquito larvae, which is 30%. So this is a freeze, uh, sorry, a gel product of bloodworms. It's only 30% bloodworms. Not such a good thing. Freeze dried stuff is 100%. Uh, vegetable protein extracts, fish and fish derivatives, uh, derivatives of vegetable origin, oils, fats, yeasts, etc., etc. So it's very much like a wet version of a pellet food type of thing so I think that's a bit of a downside if you I think if you're buying bloodworms you kind of want to be buying bloodworms and saying that I think there's a lot of positives for these particular products compared to some of the negatives so uh, yeah that's that's my kind of take on the ups and downs of the gel food okay next is freeze dried bloodworms I'm obviously doing this video on bloodworms um, but things like Daphne and Master Shrimp and stuff like that also come frozen, freeze-dried freeze dried and in gel form. So I guess this is all kind of comparative to that as well. 
Uh, but with the freeze dried stuff, some of the pros for it is it is it is dry product, so you're paying for exactly what you're getting. You're not paying for water weight at the same time. So this container is nine grams, so you are getting nine grams of frozen bloodworms. And believe you me, this small container goes a very very long way. I think it's really good because you can sort of mix it into other foods. If you're one of these people that make up their own gel food or um, frozen food themselves, you can put this into it quite easily. If you want to mix some flakes and some pellets together, you can put this in as well. So everything's getting a decent mixture of everything. So I definitely think that is a positive of using the freeze-dried uh, treat foods, snack foods, whatever you want to call them. I do find them to be a little bit more expensive. Um, like I said, the, the frozen blood booms, 100 grams, are like 8 bucks or 6 bucks or whatever, and these are a lot more for 9 grams. But you are just getting the worm itself. You're not getting a water weight as well, so you've got to take that into account. I think something I don't so much like about them is that you've got to soak them in water to get them to really sink, otherwise they float. Um, that's a bit of a pain, but you know that's a little cost to, cost to pay. They obviously do have an expiry date on them compared to the frozen stuff, um, so that's another da Debbie Downer on that as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, freeze dry stuff is pretty good, and it's a big range of it as well. It's sort of um, yeah, it's quite the range of a product. It's not just you're going to find your frozen bloodworms, bloodworms, blood worms, brine shrimp and like mysa shrimp for example there's a lot of other things you can pick up freeze dried tube effects worm and stuff like that at least over here in New Zealand a lot of the frozen foods aren't so readily available so to be able to pick them up and freeze dried is really really handy as well okay so overall uh, there's three different methods of delivering blood worms into your aquarium I think all three have positives and I think all three have negatives at the same time uh, positives Frozen blood worms, readily taken, quite a lot in there. Um, negatives, leave it out, defrosted, you've wasted your, your, basically your batch of blood worms. Positives to the gel stuff, it's very convenient and it's very easy to feed. Negative, it's got some other filler junk in it as well. Positive of the freeze dried stuff is you can use it in multiple applications, you can make your own food up or mix it into other stuff. Uh, negatives is it takes quite a lot of time to prepare and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't sink very well and it, it floats. Overall it's a tough one for me to say which one I think is better and which one I think is worse because I think they all have their ups and their downs. Um, I think for me I will still continue to feed the frozen blood worms, I will still continue to feed the gel based foods but I don't think I'll feed the freeze dried stuff if that's um, a bit of a, a thought on, on how I would use those foods or continue with those foods. I don't think there's any winners and I don't think there's any losers because they all all got their ups and their downs but I think yeah the, the freeze dried one won't be something that gets put into my, my rotation and never has really been in there um, for, for some of the reasons I've already stated today but the frozen one's always been in my rotation and the gel food since I've found the gel food has been in my ro ready rotation as well so I think that's a telltale sign but that's all we've got today guys I really hope you've enjoyed it have a good one happy fish keeping and catch you later